I. And that is how to use three V lookups in a formula. Again, the, the simplicity of starting doing it by hand before you get into the complex V lookup uh, formula really helped us here. Now I'm going to control enter, and there it is, $29,129,128. Now I'm going to copy it over and see if it works. Click there and hit the F2 key. Looks like it worked just fine. I'm going to click Escape. Now I'm going to highlight this and copy it over because we need it to work on all of our cells right to there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that. We have a loss. And since our tax table doesn't have a loss there, we need to do something. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this. I'm going to show you a 2007 way and a 2003 way because we have different ways of doing it in Excel. There's an amazing new function called if error. So I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. If error, you can't do this in earlier versions. If error. And all if error says is give me the value, and that's going to be our whole formula. And then comma, and what do you want in the cell if, if this evaluates to an error? So I'm going to click right at the end and type 0, because we have 0 tax if we get an error. Close parentheses. That if error function only works in 2007. I'm going to control enter and copy it all the way back over. And sure enough, beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in 2007. I'm going to click in this cell, hit F2, and then I'm going to very carefully um, scoop out just the VLOOKUP part. And this is kind of hard because I need to get just that. Just that right there. Not the IF error, not the comma zero, but just that part in Control C. Because we have relative cell references, if I just copied the cell and pasted it down here, it wouldn't work because those things would move. But if you scoop it out of the formula by copying the formula and then hitting Escape and then clicking, where do we want to do this? I'm going to click right there, Control V. Oh, and I forgot the equal sign. I'm going to uh, click right in this cell and type equals, Control Enter. And there we go. That's a way to copy a formula and not have the relative cell references uh, get in the way. Now, here's the formula in 2003 or earlier. You say if, open parentheses, if, and uh, I'm, not, I'm going to click Escape. I put it in the wrong cell. I need to move this whole thing. If I point to the edge of the highlighted cell, when I see that cursor, I can click and drag and move, and it actually moves it. Remember, when you move a formula with relative cell references, they don't change. They're still the same. See? There it is looking right there. Now I'm going to edit this. If this cell right here is less than 0, less than 0, then 0. Otherwise, that whole thing right there. And then I come to the end. Again, sometimes it's easier to click up in the formula bar and put my close parentheses. Control Enter. And I'll click and drag it over. And I got all the same thing. Now, I'm going to blow this up just so you can see. I'm going to hit F2. That's the formula that will work in 2003 and earlier. Now, uh, I guess the last thing we need to do is a formula evaluator, because I always like to see how Excel does it. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> click in this cell right here, or if you're in 2003, click in that cell. And I'm going to hit, go to formula, formula auditing, formula evaluate, or evaluate formula in 2007. In 2003, you go to the tools menu and then formula auditing. The keyboard shortcut that works on all of them is you hold the alt key and then tap TUF. And there it is. Now I can see Excel at work. It's looking there. I'm going to click Evaluate. It looks there. Now it's looking at the tax table. Now it, it uh, v look, uh, oh yeah, now it's going to do the whole thing right here because it's looking that up. Boop. And it finds 22,000. Hey, looks like our regular form we did before the VLOOKUPs. Now it's going to do the net of that cell right there, Evaluate. And then it's going to evaluate the VLOOKUP. And look at that, 17,000 minus 100K times. And then the VLOOKUP starts working here. And you can see that the VLOOKUP eventually evaluates to 0.39. So there was a VLOOKUP there, a VLOOKUP uh, the step before for that, and a VLOOKUP there. I click Evaluate. Evaluate. There is no error, so it'll just give us the uh, that value right there. Wow, is that not amazing? That is how to use the VLOOKUP in a more complex formula three times and even an if and an if error thrown in for extra fun. All right, see you next Excel. No, some uh, lookup function series.